Pregnancy is a truly remarkable journey. It is a time of incredible transformation, both for the mother and the developing baby. From the moment of conception, a tiny cluster of cells embarks on an extraordinary journey of growth and development. During the first trimester, which spans from week 1 to week 12, the foundation for a new life is laid. This period is marked by rapid changes as the fertilized egg, or zygote, undergoes a series of complex processes to become an embryo. The cells divide and differentiate, giving rise to specialized tissues and organs. This first trimester is a critical time for the developing baby, as it is during these early weeks that the most important structures are formed. The first trimester is an exciting and often overwhelming time for expectant parents. As the baby grows rapidly, the mother's body also undergoes significant changes to accommodate the developing life within. Understanding the key milestones of fetal development during this crucial period can help parents appreciate the miracle of life unfolding within the womb. Let's delve into the intricate details of each stage of the first trimester and marvel at the remarkable transformation that takes place within a matter of weeks. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and so it is with the development of a human life. Conception marks the beginning of this incredible journey. It occurs when a sperm cell successfully fertilizes an egg cell, creating a single cell called a zygote. This zygote carries within it all the genetic information needed to develop into a unique individual. The zygote does not waste any time in beginning its journey. Within hours of fertilization, it begins to divide rapidly. This process, known as cleavage, results in the formation of a cluster of cells that resembles a mulberry, called a marula. The marula continues to travel down the fallopian tube towards the uterus. By the end of the first week, the marula has transformed into a blastocyst. The blastocyst is a hollow ball of cells with an inner cell mass that will eventually develop into the embryo. The outer layer of cells, called the trophoblast, will form the placenta which is the organ responsible for nourishing the developing baby. Around day 6 or 7 after fertilization, the blastocyst implants itself into the lining of the uterus. This marks the beginning of implantation. The blastocyst burrows deep into the uterine lining, establishing a connection with the mother's blood supply. This connection will be essential for providing the developing baby with oxygen and nutrients throughout the pregnancy. By week 4, the blastocyst has officially transitioned into an embryo. The inner cell mass of the blastocyst differentiates into three distinct layers, the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. These three layers, called germ layers, will give rise to all the tissues and organs of the developing baby. The ectoderm, the outermost layer, will form the skin, nervous system, hair, nails, and sensory organs. The mesoderm, the middle layer, will develop into the muscles, bones, cartilage, heart, blood vessels, and reproductive system. The endoderm, the innermost layer, will form the lining of the digestive system, respiratory system, and urinary system. During this week, the amniotic sac and yolk sac are also formed. The amniotic sac is a fluid-filled sac that surrounds and protects the developing embryo. The yolk sac, while not as prominent in human development as in other animals, plays a role in early blood cell formation and nutrient transfer. By the end of week 4, the embryo is about the size of a poppy seed. It is still too small to be seen on an ultrasound, but it has already undergone a remarkable transformation. The foundation for all the major organs and systems has been laid. A week 8 marks a significant milestone in the first trimester as the embryo's heart begins to beat. This tiny organ, no bigger than a poppy seed, starts to pump blood throughout the developing circulatory system. The circulatory system is one of the first systems to become functional in the embryo. Along with the heart, other major organs continue to develop during this week. The brain and spinal cord are rapidly developing, and the neural tube, which will eventually form the central nervous system, is closing. The limbs begin to bud, with tiny bumps appearing that will eventually become arms and legs. The embryo's facial features also start to become more defined. The eyes, which were initially located on the sides of the head, move closer together. The ears begin to form, and the nose starts to take shape. The digestive system continues to develop, with the intestines forming and the liver beginning to produce bile. By the end of week 8, the embryo has grown to about the size of a raspberry. It is now officially referred to as a fetus, a term used from week 9 until birth. 
The fetus is now about 1 inch long and weighs about 0.04 ounces. Although still very small, the fetus is starting to resemble a miniature human being.